Hi, my name is Alex with Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be answering the question, can you use Jira if you're practicing SAFE? If your organization is all about the Scaled Agile Framework, is Jira a viable tool for you? Let's find out today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, drop a like if you get any value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into a couple of articles that I found to help build the narrative, the story that I'm gonna to try to build up for you to answer the question of, can you use Jura if you're a safe organization? Okay, so here's a simple search of, is safe possible within Jura? And right out of the gate, you are going to be hearing the words Jura align quite a bit. I wanna get this out of the way first, okay? Jura align is not Jura. Jura align is a separate product from Atlassian, this is a product that you want to buy if you're trying to be safe. If you're a safe organization, you should be on Jira Align. At last you know this, you probably don't want to hear this though because Jira Align is no joke, so much more expensive than Jira, like orders of magnitude more expensive than Jira. So, if you're a safe organization and you're truly safe, right? If you're like, you've gone through all the safe training and everybody's certified and you got, you've, you're drinking the safe Kool-Aid, Jira Align is probably going to be a good option then, especially since you've already invested all this money in your training. So Jira Align is the tool you should be doing, okay? But that's not the question. The question here wasn't, should I be on Jira Align? The question is, can I mold? Can I configure Jira to help me be safe? And that's the question I'm going to try to answer. And so out of the box, okay, just no customizations whatsoever. The simple answer is no. That's why Atlassian bought the makers of Jira Align, rebranded it as Jira Align, and now offers Jira Align for a very, very, very hefty price. But if you're just a straight Jira user and you're taking Jira, can you do safe? No, no, no way, no chance. You can't track your PIs. You can't track arts. You can't You can't do any of the safe stuff in Jira other than the individual team scrums, which that's what Jira does. But not all hope is lost. I actually found a couple of articles that kind of walk us through and are trying to answer the question, can we do safe? And the very first one is how to model scaled agile framework in Jira. Don't be fooled by this one. This one basically just points you right back to Jira line. So the next one is we have a comprehensive guide and we have this other guide from Contagix. So both of these here are, I'm going to have showing it to you. And this one here is cool until you realize that this is just a big promotion for a plugin. And so essentially, and this kind of leads me to the point of that I'm going to try to make here is to answer the question of, can you use safe with Jura? The question is going to be in two parts. One, technically yes, but through the use of a plugin. So there's a couple of different plugins. And if you actually look at this other URL, you'll see some of the plugins that are available. So we can actually use like plugins like Big Picture, Structure. I know that Easy Agile also has an, uh, a safe version of their plugin that will basically let you do PI planning and all the other great stuff that you do in safe. So there are options, but it's not going to be natively in Jira. You are going to have to, if you want to stick to Jira, if, if Jira is the tool that you want to be in and not go to like version one or Jira Align or something like that, but if Jira is the tool you're going to want to be in, you're going to have to go and look at other plugins to basically add the safe capability into Jira. However, with that said, I will say this, that if you want to be safe-ish, if you if you're, you're kind of like not ready to commit to a full safe organ to be in a full safe organization, but you do want to cherry pick parts of safe, you can, through the use of custom fields, modify your Jira so that it's more in line with safe. So you can add a PI field so that you can track which PI this thing belongs to. You can add an art field so you can track which art is responsible for the delivery, right? And through the use of like initiatives and other issue types above the epic, and I have videos on how to explain how to add those everything that I just described in other videos, right? But through the use of custom fields and additional issue types, you can actually kind of make Jira work a little bit. It is not going to be perfect. It's not going to give you the full breadth and and view that safe demands. 
But if you're using custom fields, if you're using those additional issue tags, and most important, kind of, I don't know how I forgot to mention this, but if you're using advanced roadmap, you can get very close. You're not going to be full safe, right? I'm still recommending if, if I had a pick, I'd go with the plugin or if I had all the money, I'd go with Jira Online because that's the right tool that you want. But if I were kind of just like band-aiding the solution here, I would get creative with my fields, with my workflows, with my issue types and leverage advanced roadmaps to be able to kind of be safe-ish. And that's usually where I like to operate. I like to operate in a safe-ish world. I don't, I'm not a big proponent of safe to the core, right? But I, I do believe that there's certain aspects of safe that are important, right? You should be forward looking and you should be planning beyond what's right in front of you, right? I like to look at at least a quarter at a time. And so safe is really kind of designed for a little bit of that. So I like to cherry pick things that I like from safe and I have made Jura be safe ish. It won't do safe, but it can be safe ish. And if you use an extra plugin, you should be able to be safe. So anyways, that's all I have for this video. I wanted to answer this quick question because as more and more companies are looking to safe, because guess what? As a spoiler, Scrum sucks. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat this, right? But Scrum is great when it's a small little team. But when you have a large corporation, you have 2, 10, 20 teams all working for a product, the same product, things can get very, very hairy very, very quickly. And safe, aspects of safe can, might be the solution to help you with your problem. So I want to make this problem because I know a lot of teams are looking into safe, especially because they see the struggle. They see the limitations of Scrum. And obviously, if you Google how to do, how do you scale Agile, well, it's more not obvious. It can't be more obvious than the scaled Agile framework, which is safe. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got value in this video, please consider subscribing. Drop a like. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or opinions on this, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.